I mean, I understand where the people came from, you know, like, ah, I mean, I can draw, you know, or I can do that, that. But it's like, yeah, you, you can draw. Maybe not as what you expected or what you imagined, but you can draw. It's just the time you have to work every day to get that, that level. You might not know him by name, but uh, Daniel Allrive is a character artist that works at Riot Games. And Riot Games, if you don't know, created League of Legends, that big, I don't know, I've never played it, uh, but I hear it's got a lot of players. Um, anyway, so he's a senior character artist there, and he's good at both uh, like concept 2D as well as 3D sculpting and modeling. Um, and whether or not characters is something that interests you, uh, his advice that he gives in this interview is applicable to pretty much all artistic fields. Like we talk about like talent versus skill, overcoming procrastination, uh, being realistic with your goals, using your time wisely, identifying scam schools, um, and much, much more. Um, so it's about an hour long, but there is chapter marks in the YouTube description if you want to jump ahead, because I know a lot of you do. Short attention spans, just like me. So this is part of a new YouTube interview series uh, if you want to see more like it give it a like and so that you don't miss a future episode hit subscribe and the last thing I want to mention before we get to the interview is that this video is made possible thanks to our sister company polygon polygon so if you want to make world-class renders you need world-class textures and that is what polygon provides so try it out today and discover the difference that professional sharp textures can make to your renders and now on to the interview. Daniel, thanks Hi. for uh, thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, of course. Um, it's a pleasure. So tell me, uh, have you always been a creative person? I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember when I was a child, like always, like before to know, like I, I like art. Always, I was messing around in the garage, like playing with building things, I don't know, like taking like an old piece of wood and trying to create something. So I guess always I was kind of creative. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't know in what direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so be like a builder or so be like an artist, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, always I, I like to take any challenge or create stuff or since I was a kid. What, what, what do you think it was that drew you to that? I don't know, like, like most of my time when I was a kid, I watched a lot of movies, like uh, movies from 80s, kind of like uh, Dark Crystal, uh, Never Ending Story. So I guess in the background, I was building kind of like that creative sense, you know? Right. Yeah. So always like, a, also because those kind of movies, they have the Muppets, they have a stuff like that. So that's why always I want to create the stuff, you know, mm -hmm. with the hands. So I guess like mostly of that things coming from what I was doing when I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know, the what kind of movies I was watching or like what I, when I was playing, like with kind of things, you know, I, I think so. I don't know. Some people say it's like you're born like this, mm -hmm. you know, you're born as a kind of artist, creative or whatever. I don't know if it's yeah. that true, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I, I remember like I really like it. Like all that kind of stuff. Do, do you think? Do you think some people can be born, born creative, or you think it's? Uh, some... Yeah, I think I think some people, born with that kind of like, I don't know, uh, how to say, it, but that kind of like they like that kind of things. But I don't believe like some people say they born with uh, like an artist, like like you. For example, if you have like insane skills, art skills. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, you have those because you're born with those. I, I don't believe in that at all. I right. Think, I think it's more about how you work in terms of your life, you know? Um, I think you're born with just like a sense, sense of, I don't know, like a feeling of creative, like a feeling of for the art, you know, like a sense. Mm -hmm. Just like a small thing, but I don't, I don't think you're born like a, I'm a creative person, I'm gonna create this stuff or whatever. Right. I, that's my point of view, I mean. Yeah, has anyone ever said that to you? Like, you're gifted? Uh, uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, most of the people say that, like, hey, I'm gonna shut up, Dan. You, you have this gift, you know, you can do it, like, whatever. Like, uh, I work a lot, no, I don't think so. I think that's a minimum thing mm -hmm. that you can use for that, you know, but it's, it's not the full thing. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that what that is, like, people don't, they, they can't understand how you went from nothing to being where you are. And so they just assume like, 
Yeah. Well, that's so special. That's so amazing. It must be some supernatural or <laughs> I don't know, given yeah. ability. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, I understand where the people came from. You know, like ah, I mean, I can draw. You know, or I can do that. That. But it's like, yeah, you you can draw. Maybe not as what you expected or what you imagined, but you can draw. It's just the time you have to work every day to get that yeah. that level. So always I say, um, like, I, I mean, for I, I've seen like a friends of mine, you know, like some of them, for example, they were super talented, uh, but they didn't work at all. Like every day they were not telling himself to become better and they are stuck with that. And people who was like a worst, I mean, worse, like a less, let's say less creative form sure. or something sure. like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they become super good because they work so hard, you know? So I, I think it's like the path is different for everyone. Depends about that skill you have since you born, you right, know? So yeah. it's like, okay, I'm level one instead of level three. Right. But let's say something like that, but it's not a big, big, big thing. Right. But you have to get to level a hundred. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a, yeah, it's like a full career. I mean, always I say this, the same. Like I would like to have like two lives, so I can like a full work in my three D and my two D in a different life because it take a long time, you know. So it's just about time and, and work. It's not nothing about I I don't know. This is not Matrix. Like I'm gonna plug something in my head and I'm gonna get it. You right. need to work hard for that for sure. Why is it that you think uh, you mentioned that some people? Uh, they stop, right? They, they practice, yeah. but they sort of stay at a, at a certain level. Why do you think that is? Well, um, depends of the person. I've seen cases like they stop because they don't have interest. You know, it's like, yeah, I like it, but I like other, other things and probably they choose other things. Uh, I've seen other guys that are lazy, really lazy. Um, so always, I think, is you are lazy with art is because maybe you don't like enough, you know, to keep going on that. And to be honest, this is most of the cases I've seen before. Like, what, like, what do you mean by lazy? Well, you know, like, like, uh, like you have to work a lot of time. You have to do, redo, and redo, and again, right, right. and fail. You know, it's not like I draw something looks amazing. Way to say, to see it and put it there, and everyone love it. No, it's not like that. You you, you work on that. You just like fuck. It's not good enough. You need to learn. Okay, I need to learn how my values work, how my color, or I, like a sculpting. I need to do more stuff because you all the time compare with other artists. You know, like a, you go to art station and you see like an awesome artist over there. So you are comparing yourself in. In somehow, you know, so you want to be that better. So imagine like in the, those people I'm talking about, like they're not trying enough because mm -hmm. probably they don't see themselves like they, 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 they recognize like how long take that. You know, it's like, oh, fuck, I, I know this guy is working a lot. Um, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. But tomorrow, you know, and that tomorrow right. they start going, rolling, rolling and never happen. Yeah. I mean, some of the cases I've seen, you know, and it's really, it's kind of like sad because you see like people like really, uh, really good with a lot of talent. They only need to work on that. Um, but unfortunately, they, they don't do that. So you think uh, like exposing yourself to better artists and realizing how much more you can grow is helpful in that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, it's a lot of time. I mean, the thing is like people, uh, I think, don't realize how how many things you you have to put away to be here. You know, like I don't, I don't. To be honest, I don't meet anyone. Like maybe one or two, like they were like super good and they never had to put like a lot of time because they get things like that. But most of the people who I work with, they, they put a lot of time, um, they hang out less with friends or with girlfriend or whatever. So it's a lot of commitment and not everyone is ready for to get that, you know, or to do that. Yeah. So, so you say um, you think that some people that work professionally, they feel like they've got a job they can sort of relax. Oh yeah, yeah. Really? I, I, I've seen. I've, yeah, I've seen in uh, in my experience in some studios. I, I've seen that a scenario like people 
they feel like, uh, well, I don't know. I, I've seen like kind of like two scenarios, like the one who feel they are in the place they want to be, or like this is a, I'm working in a triple A studio or something like that. So I don't need, I just need to keep going here and doesn't matter. Or people who, I don't know, maybe they get older, they have like another uh, things to care in life, you mm -hmm. know, and that's like a s job is a job. You know, so this is, so in what we work is kind of tricky sometimes because it's our passion or hobby and also it's our job. So right. sometimes you need to put the line because it's so easy to, to put the step pass, passing the line, you know, and it's like, oh fuck, <laughs> it's too far. Have you, have you experienced that? Can oh, you sure. tell a story of when yeah. you went too far? Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, I do that a lot because I am a guy who have a lot of passion for, for what I do, my work, um, my hobby and all that stuff. So when you come back home, for example, and you're still thinking in work, in the character you're working or something happened at work, I think you're getting far. You're, you're what? You're, it's when you're getting far. Too to, far. Yeah, too far for, with that. Like, like, okay, so yeah, at work, you should be like 100% like uh, with all this stuff. But when you go home, it's maybe it's time for other stuff, you know, like hang out with your wife or like do your personal stuff. So it's like, okay, I need to separate that. And sometimes it's difficult, <laughs> really difficult. Well, have, have you learned any tips to uh, get past that? Uh, you need to realize that. That's the, the tip. You need to realize like, I'm getting far. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, overthinking this thing and right. that's not worth. Yeah. So when you realize you're doing that is when you start changing. Mm. But sometimes it's difficult to realize that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's important um, or essential for an artist that wants to work in the industry today to continually practice personally um, or can you be one of those people that just goes home and doesn't try to evolve? Uh, well, it depends about your goal. I mean, I, I always say that, like I was a guy who I wanted to come here to LA to work, you know, like a big company. So I knew it, I had to put a lot of time in my work and my personal work because a lot of people want to work there. So it's like a really uh, difficult to get to those places. So I was realistic and it's like, I have to be one of the best or at least like, a, I don't know, they have to look at me in somehow. So I need to get, get better. So if you have like a big challenge, you wanna, I don't know, like, uh, like, a, like work in a place or build your company, or I don't know, whatever, probably, yeah, you have to work more time or, but if you don't have that, it's totally fine. I mean, if you're happy with what you're working, uh, what you're doing, you don't need to go home and still doing that. If you like it, of course, do it, but it's not a must, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's just a must if you have like a high goals. Okay, so yeah. you're not at risk of being fired or anything if you don't try to evolve or anything over time? Why? Why are you at risk to oh, be fired? Like, uh, not, not fired for not practicing, but just if everybody else is improving uh, and you're sort of staying the same. Well, think about like at, at work, we, we work like uh, eight hours. So yeah. you're getting better. That's true. You're getting better, doesn't matter. So that's true. That's true like, like people is getting really, really good, you know, and you have to be there. But I think like over the years is another ways like and you can use your, you are probably you have like less energy to put that time on it, but you are more, uh, you have like a more wisdom, you know, you, you need, you know how to use an hour maybe you have or two hours. So you are more focused and you know how to um, avoid like any, like a difficult way to achieve that, you know, so you're getting smarter. Mm -hmm. in what you're doing. So I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not going to say like, yeah, <laughs> that or not. I think it's a depends. depends. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. But it's a lot of people like, like I work with a lot of people who they are kind of like, um, kind of like, like, like worry about that, you know, like, like they worry a lot about to get better because in the future people is getting better, get a job. And we are losing that, that like you are, doing that because you enjoy that. Right, you, you think know? they've lost the... 
yeah. love for. Yeah. yeah, I think we are just sometimes looking at the business, you know, and we are not looking like what we really like or what we really do. And we are, as we talked before, like, I guess we are creative, all of us. So I'm pretty sure we can figure out if that future came to us to do something, you know, like uh, you feel like you are not good enough or, or whatever, or like people are better than you, <laughs> you know, right. so you, you will figure it out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a, an interesting point you mentioned that, um, yeah, some of the reasons that professional artists are so much better is, well, one, they're professional, so they're at a level where they can be hired, but also once you're hired, you're working eight hours a day and you're able to improve at a much rapider rate than uh, somebody who's doing it part-time or a hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, so at, say at, a, at, a, at Riot Games, for example, are you, um, like how many of those eight hours are actually sculpting or drawing or something artistic? I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, well, Riot is quite different because uh, our culture uh, give us like a freedom to be involved on, in, any, in everything. So that means I have a lot of meetings. I have a lot of meetings for one thing is happening here, one thing is going there, you know. So it's the first job I'm not like eight hours uh, there, like right. doing all the time what I have to do. But I have plenty of time. So like like four hours, six hours a day. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, okay. so, something like that. Around that is is uh, you have. So so that's again what I say before, like that way to work is uh, because I came in from a place that you have to work so fast. I have like a, my pipeline is kind of fast. So right now I'm getting a smarter. So because I don't have the full time, when I go, I use my time to do wh what I know I have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's like a different, you're learning. It's not like, okay, I'm okay because I know tomorrow I'm gonna have eight hours and tomorrow I'm gonna have another eight hours. Another day I'm gonna have right. eight hours. So I'm like, oh, uh, maybe tomorrow I'm not going to have the full time to work on this. So I'm going to make sure like at least I have two hours and I'm going to go super uh, like full speed to mm -hmm. work on this. So right. it's like, a, again, like make you a smarter in how you should work. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so trying to use the time that you've got valuably. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. I, and, and that's really cool because that's what happened at, at home too, you know, like like you, you are with your wife, you have kids or whatever, you don't have the full time. So if you have like a one hour, a couple of hours, like, okay, I, I know exactly how I'm gonna invest that time, that small time. And maybe, maybe no, I mean, I know other people who they don't have any commitment, like they are kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, you know, tomorrow. They, right. they get that lazy or yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So the same, come back to your question, like in, at Riot, we are really busy with a lot of stuff. We are like, a, as I say, like a, we have a lot of freedom to be involved in, in different stuff. So people like me with a lot of passion say yes to everything. And that's <laughs> like, oh dude, I have to do my stuff. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, it's interesting. Uh, do you ever have times when you, you want to sit down and work? but you just feel so distracted or like you just don't want to do anything. Ah, yeah. And, uh, and can you describe a time you've, you've had that and how you've gotten past it? Is, have you got any other, I was curious what your talk was about. So how, how do you get past art slumps? Uh, so basically uh, what we talk about is like, well, was, was funny because we say like how to get out of art slumps. So people came there like, oh, how can I get out of them? <laughs> but you can't. I mean, the thing is like, we give them kind of like experience in a, sorry, like we give them some stories about our experience, how we get out of any art slam we had in that moment. But doesn't mean that's a way to get out. This is what we did at that point to get out of those. But at the end you realize like those art slams, they're gonna be with you. Um, you need to accept them and when you are in one of them don't freak out because some people think it's like kind of like you have like a I don't know like a hole you go in the hole and when you get back you are stay in the same floor but they are not true they are kind of like a stairs so probably you are in the hole but when you get out you are like a, in a higher step on that oh, stair. Really? so you're getting better you're getting better so you have to see them as a it's okay it's gonna be all right. Um, 
just when I get out, it's going to be much better. I'm going to have like a more knowledge. I'm going to be smarter, you know, so that that's what happen. And most of them are related about your personal life. So we think sometimes our slams is about like, I can draw hands or I can sculpt this. I'm not good enough to get that. Um, so most of them, they are about your life. Like, like, I mean, to give some examples, like I mood, uh, well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give another sample. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember the talk. Sure. So which one is like the most, yeah. So for example, I, I remember my first studio when I was working on like uh, six years ago or something like that. Uh, it was like a small studio. I was feeling like, fuck yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm in the art industry. It's just like I get this, this train. I feel like comfortable and just the stop will be like a riot, blizzard or any of those places. And they fired me. Uh, like, yeah, I was like uh, there, like uh, at the beginning, like uh, putting a lot of hours, like enjoying that, you know, and they fired me and I was like, okay, so. Why so. did they fire you? Uh, well, it was like a kind of financial problems and they get rid of people, you know? Um, I remember that, you know, my plan was completely destroyed. It's like, how am I gonna get there? And also like, I didn't, I, I was not allowed to use, to use anything I was doing there to my portfolio and was a good thing because it was really bad <laughs> at that point. Uh, so I started from scratch and I joined a uh, challenge. It was the Comic-Con challenge at that time. Okay. And I did a Comic-Con challenge so the people, I, I, I didn't know that, you know, like the people respond to me so well, like, hey, I love this, what are you doing? So they gave me that motivation. I was completely destroyed. I was no motivation. I was thinking like, maybe I'm never gonna be a character artist or work in art or work in games. I still quit and do any other stuff. But thanks to that, thanks to the art challenge, like give me the motivation, the people to believe in me. So for example, is what I say, like, like that was an art slam, like a huge art slam in my life. Like I was feeling so badly, I wanted to quit. Like I was not believing in myself. Um, just joining art challenge, give me that motivation because people start uh, trusting um, or likely w like what I do, you know? So that as a personal stuff, like give you that motivation, it's like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do this. Also at the end, I, I get the third, five position, I don't remember. So that even more give me the motivation to, you know what, I think I can work on this, mm. you know, on uh, in games, uh, doing making characters, stuff like that. So, so one of the, how to get out of, how to get out of our slam was like do challenge, our challenge. Mm. But doesn't mean you're gonna get that. For me, is how work at that point. You know, makes sense? Yeah, yeah, I understand. What, yeah. what do you think it is about uh, a challenge or a competition that motivates people? Uh, that is? I think it uh, depends. Like, I, I guess like people wanna get the prize. <laughs> okay. I guess another people want recognition. And most of them, I think they wanna join for fun and do something. So it's like a reason to go home and, uh, and instead to be lazy and not do anything, you have like, okay, I'm gonna do this, you know, like a motivation to, to work on something. Um, and a deadline. Yeah, you have that there, so you have, so probably you're gonna start with some friends so the people in the forums, they're gonna see you. Mm. So if you don't finish, you're gonna feel guilty, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you can say, oh guys, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of busy with work and I wanna understand, yeah, you know, yeah. but I think it's motivation to do something, like yeah. most of the people, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, yeah, yes. I've, I've experienced that myself, yeah. where I've, I've had a personal project that I was working on and it just, you know, wasn't, didn't feel like there was any point that I needed to work on it tonight, you know. But yeah. then I had a competition. Actually, I created the competition. It was this sci-fi competition. Uh -huh. And then, um, yeah, it was like every night I had a reason. I had to work on it yeah. because otherwise I wasn't going to finish it. Yeah. And I already told people. I think that was it. I told people that I was going to do it. So I was, I was accountable. Yeah. yeah. And you don't want to look lazy in front of your friends. That's it. That's happened. Yeah, is it? I'm, I'm remember right now. Like another challenge I joined uh, was the CG half. Do you remember CG half, the yeah. Mass Effect one? Yeah. So I joined the challenge because you know challenge is amazing. But I remember 
uh, that was really funny because um, I'm a Dragon Age fan. Mass Effect, I didn't play. Dragon what? Dragon Age. Dragon Age fan, yeah. okay. But I didn't play Mass Effect. Okay. So I didn't know anything about Mass Effect, but I checked the people who was uh, participating in that challenge and was their Vadim, like uh, Sleepgate Central, the, one of the, the guy who won the Dominance War, that one, like it was amazing. And few other artists, they were super, super, super good. Uh, so I, I decided to participate in Mass Effect because I wanted to beat Vadim or those people. <laughs> you know, at that point I was like, dude, I, I want to do that. You know, uh, to give some context, like Vadim, his work inspired me to be a character artist. Right. When I started working in a, in a art, uh, in the game uh, industry, I was a concept artist and I saw him, his stuff. Uh, and I started like learning zebras and stuff like that. I really admire his work. So I, at that point, I was like, I want to beat him, you know? Right. <laughs> so that was another motivation. It's like, I don't care about the price. I don't care about anything. I want to just, I don't know, like a, this guy noticed me or something right, like so that. Right, so you wanted him to notice yeah, you. Yeah, that's recognition, I guess. Mm. So I did a, at the end, I didn't beat him, but he got the first position, I get the third position. So that was amazing. So he did my goal like really high. So I was able to be close to that. So after that, we started engaging, we were, were friends, so yeah, that was cool. Yeah. So another motivation at that yeah. point for that. Right, that is, that's an interesting one. Yeah, like recognition yeah. from the people that you admire. So it depends where you are. Mm. I mean, where, at what state are you? Like, yeah. you feel like you want that motivation or you just want to do something or it depends, but right. always help. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Everyone has their own reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you right. You never know. That's right. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, do you think it's important to um, practice different styles or like maybe you work on like fantasy, grungy, mm -hmm. detailed stuff at work that you also tried to get good at simplified cartoony as an example? Or do you think it's good to go the very narrow niche route? Mm, always depends. Like uh, to be, of course, if better, if you can uh, handle like a different uh, style. So, so think about like some of the studios, they are not like just focusing on one style. So if you have that variation, uh, you're going to be like a better fit for them, for sure. Yeah. Um, is this what you like? Sure. If you don't like, like, dude, I, 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 I met some of those guys like doing the portfolio review in TA2, like I like uh, just realistic stuff. But I know right at this doing that or whatever, it's like, you d d don't think about that. Like, do what you like. If you don't like to do the stylized stuff, don't do it. I mean, always I, uh, I give them like a sample. My, my, if you see my portfolio, you can see some like pieces like a really stylized, like the stuff I'm doing in League, or you can see the stuff I did in Castlevania, like a really more realistic or the CG half that uh, challenge, like a more kind of like a CG uh, character, more realistic. Um, I did, I can, I do all different styles because I like it, you know, and I never think about if it's good or not good. Some people, they think like you should just stuck in one style, so you're going to get better. You're going to kind of like be an expertise about that. How I see it is, uh, it's like every different style benefits another style. So probably you are thinking about your stylized stuff. And it's like, ah, oh, dear, what I like is realistic. But if you are working in something stylized, when you jump to the realistic one, you're going to be better with shapes. You're going to be, you're going to have a better, better read silhouette, you know, because you have that foundation from a stylized. So the same for realistic. When you go to the stylized, you know where to add that detail, you know, because you are working on that on the, on, um, on the realistic side. So for me, have a benefits to work in a different style. Also, like, like, like I do the, the 2D and 3D, right? So at one point I was like, I was doing 2D, I jumped to 3D and I was doing 3D, 3D, 3D. And I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I, I want to come back to 2D. I like 2D, but I feel so kind of like a scare. 
and kind of lazy because I know it's going to take a lot of time again, you know, like I come back. So my surprise was when I came back to 2D, to 2D um, I was better <laughs> because I guess I was modeling in zebras. I was getting that 3D view and working their anatomy, working on different shapes and stuff. So when I had to draw, it was easier for me to understand right. and, and was like, wait a second, I learned a lot from that. So, so again, like a style or like the way you want to use a uh, uh, work, sorry, like is going to be like, a, it's go you're going to have benefits from, from any, any side of those. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. It's, um, there's one thing I've, I've noticed across all the artists I've been interviewing is um, even the most obscure thing related to art or creativity can be helpful in other areas. Yeah. Even, yeah, like watercolors yeah. can be helpful for sculpting. Yeah. You wouldn't think it would, but somehow yeah. you'll remember like, oh, there was that texture of that brush or something. That's awesome. Yeah, seriously, I, I yeah, 100% agree with that. So when people came to me like, I only want to do this or you should, when the people say like, you should do just this style because you want to get the expertise or the better on that, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that, but it's not what I think. Mm, yeah, right. I think you should jump in whatever you like and you're going to get any benefit or you're going to improve right, for right. anything you're doing with passion. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's also important to have a, a focus? Something that you're, like say somebody, they, they work, they're good at clay or, or they're, uh, they're interested in clay, watercolor, mosaic, yeah. you know, but they can't get a job, you know. Uh, that's that's difficult. Yeah. I, I I know that. I mean, like get focus um, when you are looking for a job is 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 difficult. So my recommendation is like first try to work for your job stuff. Like get the job, and so if you have to work in your portfolio, three D, your reel, or whatever, do that. Do that. Finish it. Try to find a work. So at least you have that like. Uh, down, you know, like it's done, and later you can enjoy your clay or you can enjoy another stuff. But if you're jumping around and you stuck with that idea, like you don't have the job, you need to find a job, it's gonna burn you. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, that's my kind of like a recommendation. Like at first, like if you really want to get a job, you know, or maybe maybe not. If not, it's okay. Do whatever you want and just finish what you do. Um, but if, you, if that's your, what you have in mind, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you gotta meet what they're looking for. Yeah, I mean, at the end, we live in a world with, where you need money to pay bills and stuff like that. So yeah, it's hard, it's beautiful, but I mean, you have to that's do right. your stuff too. Yeah. yeah, if you wanna get a job in this industry, yeah. Yeah. There's uh, the sacrifices, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, what I say to to add there, like some people, they kind of like frustrate themselves because they want to get a job in a specific place or whatever. Like enjoy any, any. I think you learn from any place. Like doesn't matter if it's a three place studio, it's a mobile studio. You're gonna learn from any place, and it's gonna be amazing stories over there. Like as bad stories, I'm pretty sure, but you're gonna get more expertise you're gonna get better so like enjoy any time like any position or any job don't feel like so frustrated like you have to take that yeah yeah gotcha yeah hmm it's good advice i like it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you describe a time when when someone on your team or somebody else has given you feedback on something that you you didn't notice or you couldn't notice before and that you eventually changed I think for Saya, when I was working on Saya, I really want to have the black, the, sorry, the white hair. So it was like white hair thing. I have my design. I love it. And I this remember, is a character. Sorry. Yeah, it's a character. It's a character on League of Legends, and I I love her with the white hair. It's like oh, I love I love that that my favorite character. I love her. Um, I remember so uh, was a pain over with the red hair, and it was like the first day when I saw it, it's like. No, 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 that red, pink hair, no, no, have to be white because it's serious, you know, have to be white. Like, but like two days later, I was like, 
it's better. <laughs> it works, works better. I went to Chris and said, dude, like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think, I don't know. I was stuck on that why, but right now I'm, I'm, I believe it's much better. Yeah. So that's happened. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I've noticed that as well. Like sometimes you can get, in fact, that's probably the biggest problem with working by yourself is that you get tunnel vision. Totally, I get that, totally. And also what I think like when we do stuff, we put our passion, you know? So, so when we create something, it's like a bit of our soul in there. Mm. So when it's something like uh, taken away or it's not there, it's, you feel like, I believe in that. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it's better. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Ha has there been any times when you've not wanted to listen to feedback? Uh, no. No? Okay. Like, yeah, always, always, I, I think, listen, at least listen to feedback, you should listen to, I mean, this is, we are talking about that word, but that should be for everything. Like, if you are, like, in a forums or stuff like that, you are in a challenge, you're doing something, or, or you put, like, a piece of artwork there, you always you should listen to feedback, just because you, I mean, one thing is listen to feedback, one other thing is take that feedback and execute that feedback, mm. you know? So listen, you should always listen because you're gonna learn, you have like, we have different point of views. Yeah. So that's amazing. Uh, see like with other eyes, what they get from that. Mm. And sometimes that feedback is really good. It's something you didn't see. And it's like, okay, this is gonna improve a lot my piece. Uh, but if you are rejected to listen to feedback, you're gonna miss all those opportunities, right, yeah. you know? So like, I mean, if, uh, if this, like you have like a 10 guys saying the same thing, probably as a human, <laughs> you're gonna say like, I know, I know, give me time, right, you know, right. whatever. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I encourage everyone to listen to feedback because that's, we, we can't as ourselves. we only have two eyes, we only have two hands, that rain, so we don't know everything. And um, always people with fresh eyes, they give you some context, like it's really nice. And also when you, I'm, I'm pretty sure happy to you, when you're working on something, um, maybe you don't finish, walk away, you come back on that scene like two days or a week later, you see things different. It's yeah. Like, oh, really? I was doing that? I think it's wrong, mm. you know? So yeah, so imagine someone who is not working directly. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's such a strange thing, isn't it? Like you mentioned, like a couple of days later, come back and you're like, what was I thinking? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so stupid. Go yeah. get rid and also something I love, uh, that's happened at Riot, like, uh, I mean, in our work environment, like you receive the feedback from different roles. So as a character artist, a content artist, we care a lot about the, our silhouette, proportions, our values, how we work the character, but sometimes we don't think about how it's gonna move or how it's gonna be, I don't know, like everything, anything related to different disciplines. So when they came to you to give some feedback because they are thinking of their discipline, it's something like it's bringing more value to what you're doing. You know, it's like, oh, oh okay, I, I didn't think about that, you know? Mm. Or when they come with idea for a character from another discipline, it's like they are bringing a point of view where you never were. So that's cool too. Can you think of an example when that happened? Uh, I remember, I remember, no, I remember like, like, uh, was it Ninja when I was working in, okay, I was working with, uh, with, uh, animator, like Warwick, what's his name? I was gonna say hi. <laughs> Warwick. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, I remember this guy always bring me crazy ideas, like, uh, like, dude, I don't know, like a little character with the step of a legs, have their little hands, like, uh, completely he was thinking about the movement of the characters. You know, we were doing this for fun, just not world related. Uh, it was amazing because I, you know what, dude? I never bring that kind of ideas, you know? So he was all the time pushing for, for that. Mm -hmm. And that was awesome. Yeah, I learned a lot from, from that. What, what, what role was he? Uh, animator. Animator. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I say. Like, like as a character or content artist, we care about, most of the stuff we care is, uh, like, as I say, silhouette, um, kind of like uh, the character we are creating, values or stuff like that. Yeah. But sometimes we miss like right. cool things like yeah, another yeah. discipline can bring. Right, right, gotcha. Yeah. I'm curious, can you think of any um, resources like 
um, online training or books that could help someone learn character design, like concept character design? Uh, I mean, it's sadly for character design. I don't know. I've been like most of my my career. I've been like a self uh, learn stuff. Okay. Yeah. So because I I think uh, like uh, internet, you have a lot of resources like YouTube channels like yours or stuff like that. You you have. I, I remember I told you about the color theory. So I've seen that video. I learned from that video. You know. Um, and like a lot of different tutorials you can find on the internet. So, so it depends. Like sadly something I have in mind, like it really helped me out was uh, I did a col uh, course with uh, CGMA. CDM CGMA. CGMA. CGMA, okay. You know that one? So it was about the color and light and I did that class with Tyson Murphy. He was my teacher. Okay. So because I, I really like his stuff and the course was really nice about the, yeah. that color theory, I learned a lot. But other than that, I never done like a class or something right. something like that. I like all the 3D stuff, I learned by myself on the right. 3D, yeah. So uh, internet is a lot of resources. So if you wanna, so right now, for example, I follow a few Patreon too, oh, like okay. Ty Carter, Taylor Carter Taylor is Carter. one is one a guy I follow. I really I I, I really love his stuff. Um, it's another guy I don't remember the name right now. Right, right now it's it's good too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy yeah, exactly. doesn't get the promotion. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Is that really good? But anyway, like like when I want to learn something, like right now I'm doing color pencils. So I go to YouTube. I just color pencil. And I start learning from there you know right. it's like nothing just specific. start from anywhere yeah yeah, yeah anywhere i mean uh what was the name of that patreon guy uh tyler taylor tyler. carter taylor Carter. does he have tutorials as well does he yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Cool. he has yeah like the puncher on uh he has he does tutorials stuff like that it's really nice he used to work at disney okay. and he had like a really nice uh, sense for color and light and uh, like simplify stuff so I, re I really like his stuff Nice, okay. Yeah. We can put the link for that in the yeah, sure. description. Also, I can put the other one I Yeah, the one you right forgot. Now. <laughs> so, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Also, because it's how, it's, the name is not easy to say. It's right. Easy to say. Get those tricky names. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm curious. We didn't, we didn't finish talking about your, your upbringing. So you went, so first of all, your accent. Where are you from? I'm um, from Spain. From Spain. Yeah. So you were uh, born and grew up there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was there like, uh, we're living there for 26, 27 years, something like that. Right, okay. Yeah. And you moved to America how many years ago? Uh, no, I moved, first I moved to UK. Right, okay. So I was there in UK for like a couple of years, two, three years living there, and recently moved to, well, like a year and a half, I moved uh, here to you, to you, America. Right, and you moved like straight from UK to US. Yeah. Wow. that's it, that's it. That's a lot of moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's stressful, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, it was nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. was nice, I think. It's not as stressful the work. Probably at the beginning, yes, the first move to UK, you know. Yeah. Probably that right now we my wife and me we were used to that, so it was like a easy yeah. thing. But for example, like this is a, another way, like move abroad is another thing like we did for to get out of our slums too. Oh, for so, moving, okay. So, you, you know, like like when I was living in Spain, like uh, I was working on Mercury's team in Castlevania, we are like uh, really happy over there, but I was not feeling like, like I don't know, like uh, feeling what I'm doing, what I want to do, you know, end up in one of those studios. Um, so I wanted to improve my English. And one of the ways was like, I can go to school and study some English or I can move to another country. <laughs> I learned there, it's like, yeah, the hard way is my way. <laughs> right. So. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, tell me about, so your, your life in Spain. So you finished high school. What did you do after high school? Uh, well, no, I didn't finish high school. So, no, no, no. I, as I said before, like, uh, I, I was not a great uh, student. So I quit the school when I had uh, 16 or 17, okay. something like that. Um, to be honest, I quit and I was super lost. I didn't know what to do. I was like, no motivation. And I remember at that time, a friend of mine, he was doing, uh, he was working on video editing, like a camera, yeah, something like that. 
And I was like, you know what, that, that's cool, TV, I like it. So I'm gonna, I start doing some like a free classes, you know, that were there for people who doesn't have a, um, like employment, <laughs> you know? So I start, I was doing that and I remember at that point, I met another guy who told me he's gonna go to a school, an art school, where they're doing like a, like a dragons and stuff like that. And I was, at that time I was playing World of Warcraft a lot. And, and thanks to that, it's like, I, thanks to that friend like saw me that, and also like my passion for the game, I was like, maybe I can draw for games, you know? Mm. And that's why I started there. So I did that, uh, it's like a three years course, like I was a, a traditional animation. All right, okay. You know, and nothing related with games. Yeah. But I don't know, for me, when I opened that dossier, it's like dragons, uh, I don't know, biking, stuff like that. Yeah, this is what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I did that. But, <clears throat> so the thing is like, when I finished, uh, that school, most of my teachers, they were former students for that school. So what that mean, uh, they never get a job in the, in the game industry or art, related to art. So that frustration, they give it to us. Like, like, oh. like it's really difficult to work in a game industry. Uh, just the talent, top talent people, they are gonna do it. Uh, so yeah, I don't try or things like that. So, so when I finished, I didn't try. Uh, wow, because they took away your motivation. Yeah, um, well, no, they, it's not about motivation. When someone is your teacher, he's better than you, he knows more than you and say to you like, is it possible? What do you expect? You know, it's like, I believe them. So, so, when so they actually said like, you shouldn't try. Well, not that way, but, but in the way like, it's really difficult and just like a, the, the most talented guy is gonna get a job, you know? And, and you are not the are most here. talented. <laughs> well, you get that, you get that, you get that, you know? So, so when I finished, I decided to don't try. Uh, I work in advertisement web design and stuff like that for, wow. yeah, doing that You stuff. did everything. Yeah, I was working on that for five years. So Whoa. yeah, so I just started kind of late in the game industry. It was like uh, my first job with 25, 26, something. Really? Yeah. Your first your job in the game industry. Okay. So before that, I was working in a, in a advertisement and web design, you know? And yeah, it's, re it's really funny because I, I was working on that, but after five years, I was feeling like, this is not my passion. You know, I, I feel I, I, it's not what I like it. And the funny story, the, the day I realized that, it's like I went, I had, a, at that point I was doing well. I had my clients, I had like a, I was making my money, you know, so I was no reason to quit, to be honest. Uh, I had, a, was on a, like a, an appointment, well, sorry, a, like a meeting in a, in a, one a fancy hotel there in, a, okay. in Madrid. And the client was super fancy, you know, they came with a suitcase, with a, everything like a really nice to talk about that bezel, I don't know, for, for the company or whatever. And it was summer and I was uh, wearing like a swords and a World of Warcraft t-shirt, you know, <laughs> and I was in that fancy hotel with those fancy people, like, mm, I think this is not my place, you know? I, I'm not, I don't like, I'm not, I'm not enjoying in this. Yeah. So when I went home, I decided to quit. Um, yeah, I quit, I start over and it's like, you know what, I'm going to work on my portfolio. I'm going to do what I like to do is the characters, games, stuff like that. So you uh, knew that you wanted to do games? Yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was playing World of Warcraft. So of course I ah. wanted to. Uh, so that was the motivation. That was the motivation for World of Warcraft. Yeah, that was for me the motivation. And that's why you wanted to go to Blizzard. Yeah, that was. Yeah. That was so always I was thinking like, imagine like a working game. So imagine to work in this game. You know, the game like, like suck my life. <laughs> yeah, right. There. So yeah. How many, like, how many hours did you have in World of Warcraft? Oh, dude, I don't know. But, but, but uh, like we are talking about hours or months? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot wow. of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, re I remember my dad, he uh, came late from work every night and say goodbye, good night to me when uh, and I was playing all the time, you know, it's like my dad was like, playing all the game, this game all the time. So one night came to me and he asked me like, Dan, you're never gonna finish this game. 
And I was thinking like, wow, my dad feels like I'm a loser. Like I don't finish oh. games or like that. Like, no, dad, you don't understand. I'm playing with friends. This is online thing. It's never end. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. What did you think when he said that? I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's sort of like, well, well, right now they understand that, you know, when my dad say, you know, like, uh, you know, the game I was playing like a lately because I was playing, uh, you know, like, so this is the company. I explained to him all the stuff like, wow, this is amazing. Right. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Did, were you, um, w w were you like drawing a lot at that time when you were working at the, w I'm curious how you went from web design which seems pretty far mm -hmm. from concept art mm -hmm. um so yeah were you draw like did you have a hobby for drawing characters yeah. at that time or yeah i think a few years i didn't do anything at home you know i was just like living my life and working and stuff like that little by little i realized like it's not what i like so i start drawing I took few works like maybe more involved in a uh, draw instead of uh, in draw in draw in, in drawing something or or something like that or for example uh, that point was like a freelance thing to do uh, they didn't pay that much but but it was okay uh, was like a, um, uh, like a like a book for childrens like a tale okay you know so stuff like that because I was happy doing that so. I don't know, I was drawing, not constantly, you know. Consistently. Yeah, consistently, sorry. But uh, but yeah, like after I quit, it's where I like uh, I close I close the door of the, <laughs> the, the room and never go out. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, so, um, so how long was it since you quit to when you got your first job in uh, games? So probably less than a year, something like that. What was your what, so, what was your training regime in that so year? So uh, at that time, I don't remember. I was I remember was a book about anatomy for comic artists or something like that. I I, I, I draw a lot from from that. You know, I copy a lot and stuff like that. Um, I don't remember like books or things like that. Internet at that time was not like that. Thing, like a library or whatever yeah. so at that time I think I was drawing by myself a lot but the thing is like this company like was a really small company they just start uh, I met them because I was I was uh, involved in a project with another guys like I was helping them to draw Viking stuff like that so I meet those guys they want to start a company so they come me in to to work in that company mm -hmm. so it was kind of like lucky movement too you know the thing is like i work in the company maybe for a year or something and th is when they fire me for that economic right. problems um so there was even more difficult so there is like well more difficult i took that more seriously mm -hmm. is when i start like uh, doing my portfolio like working on those challenges you know that right so there for example, my in my mind was like, okay, at that point, I, the best company in uh, Spain. Well, I, I knew that I want to work uh, Blizzard or whatever, but it's like I, I have to be realistic. Uh, I need to work here. So, what is the best company here in uh, we have in Spain? At that point, was Mercury's team because we were working with uh, they were working with Konami on Castlevania. Mercury what? Castle uh, Mercury Mercury's team. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm going to do a real uh, focus uh, to get a job there. So for was like a seven months, I was like, like, that was crazy. Probably I slept every day, like three, four hours. Yeah, no more than that. For how long? For seven months. Dude. Yeah, I was crazy. That yeah, is it was, crazy. It was really crazy at that point. But and I you were just teaching yourself, learning at home. I was lear Yeah, I was learning zebras. I was doing the characters, uh, stuff like that. So like preparing so my reel. How did you practice? Like, because uh, because there are some like some people could just work seven months and stay. Almost, like I'm sure you've seen them. They sort of stay at the same level. Yeah. They don't really improve. How did you ensure that you were growing? Uh, so for me, how work always like I take huge risk, like a huge goal. So I don't. 
it's not like I'm gonna learn zebras and I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a ball, I'm gonna stretch a ball, I'm gonna learn the the different tools or I'm gonna do like a bust, I'm gonna do a gun. No, I do a full character. Wow. I do a full character, I'm gonna finish the character, I'm gonna do the UVs, I'm gonna do the texture, I'm gonna put it in a render, you know? I do I take the huge thing. So finishing all these little projects, I don't think well sorry, if you have in mind to do like a small project, like I say, like a can or bus or whatever, you have to do a ton of them to get a level up. When you do one, it's serious, like you say three months for a character and you work those three months to do something really good. When you finish is when you're going to have like the level up mm -hmm. because the next one you're going to take it and it's like, okay, you learn a lot from that long path. But if you're taking a small pieces, at, at least for me, how it works, like I never get something like I say, like, I don't know, like this is worth to learn. Yeah. I have to take like a, like a huge risk or like goal or something like that. Right. How, and, and did you try to produce many characters in that time or? Uh, no, no, no. Focus on one. Also, you just did one. For, I, I mean, seven I, for, no, no, no. I'm sorry. For that oh. seven months? No, no, no. For that one, I did uh, four, okay. four or five. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It was like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's a question. How do you know when you receive feedback, whether or not to listen to it? Um, I guess you mean like execute, not listen, because listen, I, I guess. Sure, was, e execute, uh, okay. whether you should do what they say. Um, I mean, if it's something like uh, really improve what you're doing, like uh, what you've done or something like that, of course, and you, ha you have to see it in the same way. Also, what I say, like when I see those, most of the cases is when someone dropped me a pain over. When you see a pain over, I mean, I'm an artist, um, if I, if I if I read like how to improve like a piece of art, it's sometimes it's difficult. It's like, ah, it should be this, it should be that. It's like, yeah, but you don't know, I don't see that. But when someone like a drop you like a pain over, it's like, oh damn, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Then you I can mean, see it, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it depends on the feedback. You can have feedback like maybe with just words, like someone say to you like in person, hey, dude, I think this or whatever, it's like, yes. But uh, come back to your questions, uh, to your question, I think when you see like something is improving what you got, is when you take an action for that. You know, it's like, or- Could you give an example? Mm, I don't know, like, like for example, uh, always I get feedback from Moby, for example, Moby work at a Riot to simplify the silhouette, you know, and try to u unify some of the shapes. So when you see it, it's like, yeah, you're right, you know, but, but when I'm, I'm, I'm still working, I'm still learning to get at that level, you know, to see that simplify shapes and I'm getting much, much better since I joined, mm -hmm. but still someone have to like say, no, you can do this better and right. put it there and when you see it's like, damn it, you're right. <laughs> yeah, so it depends on where you get the feedback from. Yeah, it's, it's the pen, I mean, it's, it's the pen. Like, like sometimes when you get uh, some feedback from, imagine like a narrative for how is the character or if it's you're transmitting that with your sketches, ideas or not, like that, of course, coming from words, doesn't come in from a pin over, but you get those, it's like, it makes sense. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. So you didn't, you don't have a degree. No. Right. No, no, no. Yeah. So some, some people, I mean, I like always to say, be really clear with that because I, I feel like it's a different ways to get where you want to be. Yeah. So all my life I grow up like, you know, um, family or people around you, like you have to do this to get that. And at the end it's like, don't have to be like this. Yeah. You know, it's a different ways. Could be maybe harder or whatever, but it's different ways. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on, on uh, art school? Uh, I mean, depends where, because here I went to Nomon or I went to the San Francisco Art School too, and they are amazing, you know? It's like, <laughs> I wish to have a chance to study here. Uh, when I was in Spain at that time, like for me, like the most close to our stuff was like a life growing or like a paint, right. like a fruit and vegetables. 
uh, you know so so we did there we didn't have any uh, culture about games so it's not game industry or you know like um, like a studio I mean like a classes for that or whatever it's not that built probably today is better yeah. I don't think it's like here but at that point like uh, when I was there like was empty <laughs> with that kind of thing so for me never was an option yeah. you know so what what sort of things like say somebody who's watching this they just finished school and they're curious whether or not they should go to art university or college um, what what advice would you give them like for making that decision uh, well my advice is like first like do whatever you want to do so if you want to you think for you it's better to go to the art school and do it uh, and learn there and finish it or whatever do it like if I'm saying I didn't do that doesn't mean that's the way right. to get here so that's another experience but if you are kind of like in my side where you are not good like a student or, or you don't enjoy that like don't frustrate yourself work hard and you can get there too so doesn't matter what you choose it just do it with uh, passion with love you know and enjoy what you're doing and um, that's my advice just enjoy what you're doing doesn't matter don't think about some most of the people like in, in in this world like think in the steps they have to do to get in somewhere um, sometimes yeah you have to be realistic but I think you have to follow up yourself believe in yourself trust you and just go through you know it's not like okay because I meet this guy he did this 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 I need to do the same don't do that ever that's not my advice like feel free to choose your path and just be clear where you want to get mm -hmm. right yeah yeah, that's something that I've learned um, talking to different artists. Like my advice previously, before talking to everybody, was like, don't go to university <laughs> because it's a waste of money. But after hearing from so many people who did go to university and they had a very good experience, um, and if anything, it was the reason that they were able to get a job, um, it sort of changed my perspective. And it does, I think it very much depends on for one, the sort of person that you are. Um, and like you said, if you don't do well in school, and if you're, I think that's important as well, if you can yeah. learn yourself, like on YouTube or reading books yeah. or something, and you can do that, like not everyone can do that. Uh, yeah, and also the most important, like like uh, some of those things, like uh, art uh, places, like art schools, like here, they are really expensive. So don't think it's the only way to just go through one of those uh, schools to get a job. Like, if you can afford one of those schools, like go to YouTube, like learn online and learn from others, and you're gonna get the same level as those guys they go to the school. I think the school, always I look at them like, when you are not that, how to say, like, no, it's not mature, but, but you, you know, like what I'm trying to say, when, when you are a guy who knows like you're gonna sit in that desk for two hours, three hours, and you're gonna do it, you're like a self-motivated and you got, you're strong enough to do it, it's like, cool, nice. But for those guys who are not that strong, like, oh, dude, it's impossible to me to sit in that desk and do something, go to a school is the best way for them mm -hmm. because they're gonna force themselves to go to that school, sit there and listen to the teacher. So they're gonna get used to that uh, workflow you know, in a, in a time, but some of them, they are super, I mean, the people who maybe they don't have any resources, they are in a countries where, I don't know, it's not that easy to, to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. So thanks to internet or whatever, they can, they can do whatever they want. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. So it's more about you, um, how you want to get it, uh, than your resources. Mm -hmm. I think it also, yeah, it really depends on, um, if you do choose the school route, which school you sign up for? Because I think there are a lot of scams out there. Like, yeah. They advertise as like, do you like video games? Then you can be, you know, get a job in the video game industry. We teach you how. Yeah. And I think, 
they're just scams. I mean, for me, if I have to choose or help with the choose, like I try to check who are the teachers. So if the teachers are people who work in the industry or they have kind of experience, for me it's good. If there are people like a lot, in the school I went, you know, like uh, that, that thing, uh, like the people, like the teacher, they were like a former student. So what are you going to learn? You're not going to learn anything. But for example, I know like uh, some people, uh, one of the guys, like he's, uh, he was doing an internship at, at Riot. He was, uh, his teacher was uh, Sam Nielsen. And it's like, dude, I wish my teacher was Sam Nielsen, you know? <laughs> so if, he, if you go to the school or Sam Nielsen is your teacher, yeah, go for that school if you can, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so check, check, like uh, double check who are there. And if you recognize some of the guys or you feel motivated for some of them, like, yes, I could help you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also check the, the students' art. Yeah. To see what they're producing. Yeah. Because some of it's quite, quite sad. Well, the thing is, like, I don't know, like, uh, I think some of, the, some of those art schools, they promote themselves with the student work. Um, I don't know with, I don't know, they have, imagine, like 200 students per year. I'm just to sell the stuff from two guys. I know, yeah. I'm going to get the f sense of what they're doing. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. Know. Like, if you get 200 of anybody, the top 1% yeah. is always going to be pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, how do you see the other 99%? I think it's what I said before. Like, you need to just check like who is behind those classes, what they're doing, and because what you're gonna do is, I mean, you're not gonna learn more because people around you is doing better or worse. I think it's how you're gonna get it. Of course, like an environment where everyone is like going, learning a lot, going faster, you're gonna go with them and it's gonna be awesome. But the basic is the guy who is talking to you. Mm -hmm. That for me is the basic thing. If yeah, that definitely. guy motivate you and you trust him, you see him as a, a guy who you want to be like him, yeah, that, that, that's good enough to choose a yeah, place. Yeah, right. So yeah, like, like I, the way I decided to, like I wanted to do games I'm working is was because I was playing World of Warcraft, you remember, and I get, a, a friend of mine gave me like a dossier for a, for a school, art school. For, so that art school was for three years, and was like, a, most of them was about traditional animations. So yeah. I was doing, animation for cartoons and stuff like that right. but also i had like a light drawing uh color class and stuff like that yeah. some of 3d too like I, I there i learned to model mm -hmm. something but it was really bad like 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 the i remember like you have the um the concept like this like you put the planes and start modeling it's like oh, oh my yeah. gosh like, i have to do this i i, I can't i can't right so, poly modeling right so, so yeah so i remember I hate 3D at that time. <laughs> so I was like, uh, this is boring. This is so boring. I, I don't like it at all. I, I think I came back to 3D when I met Zebras. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when I, yeah, I remember like uh, some friends, they were working uh, with Zebras and I was like, wait, wait, wait a second. This is, this is, this is like clay. You can move around, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like, yeah, 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 look at that. And I was like, oh, so you don't need the game, like the poly modeling with those like uh, planes there? Like, no, you can go free and do it. So that's why I started. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like ZBrush was like a big changing point yeah. for the industry, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. For sure. Is, um, yeah, on that note, I'm curious, like um, a lot of artists, uh, actually a lot of people around the world are worried about automation or like AI taking the jobs of the future, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm curious, from your perspective, do you, do you think there's any, let's say, smarter software that could make certain jobs or tasks in what you do redundant in, say, five to 10 years? Um, I, what you mean, like, uh, I, I want to get what you mean, like, it's something that is gonna take what we do in like any program or? Uh, yeah, well, like say there's a, like, I don't know, retopology as an yeah. example, like ZBrush does like a Z remesher, -re yeah. which is quite good. So some tasks like that, is there anything that, yeah, like could, could you foresee any software yeah. 
taking away jobs from artists? Dude, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. So, so if it's a, like I, I said to everyone around me, like, you want to be rich? Just like a, create a program who make the retopo for me. Like a good one. Not like like uh, something like, see, Remercer is nice for proxy models or something like that, but never going to be like the final one. So if someone create that, that could be awesome. I hope so. People create like tools, like the things I don't like to do, they do for me, <laughs> you know, all the technical stuff. But anyway, like, a, like a, no joking about that. I'm pretty sure like in the future, like a new technologies, they can, for example, like I think it was a huge thing, like a scan, 3D scan. 3D scanning, yeah. Start using those, like, like it's, it's kind of like a, putting away like a, some character artist job, you know, they are kind of like cleaning, mm -hmm. you know, on top of that, they are like a 3D scanning everything for that thing. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, I mean, this is like a both thing. So I'm pretty sure like in years, it's gonna be like a new tools. It's gonna kind of like, no, it's not, it's not gonna take us away, mm -hmm. but we are gonna, it's gonna facilitate, facilitate what, what we do. I'm, facilitate I'm, yeah, yeah facilitate what, what we do i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. but i guess like a never like a creative standpoint like a, like a creative side if you're creating characters you're i don't know like like if you're creating like a monster stuff like the monsters or i don't know whatever always gonna come i don't think it's gonna came from a program you know program is gonna facilitate or workflow or help you or yeah pipeline, right. but never is gonna do our job. Um, I'm not sure, maybe like in Matrix, maybe we can put a cable here and you can like, I don't know, print, print org and, <laughs> or something like that from your brain. Yeah, right. Uh, but I, I don't know if it's gonna be a future pretty close to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Any advice that you would give to a, a young 18 year old out there that's got the world ahead of them and they wanna work in this industry? Mm, I think like my advice would be like enjoy what you're doing like don't rush don't run to get something like just enjoy of course like you're gonna uh, prioritize you're gonna get your goals or whatever but enjoy so don't frustrate too much yourself like it's a long journey and every day count to get better so it's not like something like this. Like uh, that was my mistake. Like I, I, I tried to rush, I tried to run, I tried like, I'm gonna work a lot of, I'm gonna learn this, I'm gonna learn that. Um, sometimes I didn't, uh, in my life, I think I, I didn't enjoy what I was doing sometimes because I really want to get something. So that could be my advice for the people. Like they are there, they are gonna get there. I'm pretty sure, like no worries. It's just about time. So enjoy and, and, and try to be a smarter with uh, the decisions you're taking, what you're learning and stuff like that. Yeah. But you're gonna get there, you're gonna get there. I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, some people they think they're never gonna get, blah, 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 it's like, you know, it's a space for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Fantastic. Cool. All right, thank you. Thank you, man.